Hi, welcome to the Healthy Transformation. I'm Jesse. I'm Jason. And today we're gonna to show you every position that you need to know during a spin class or indoor cycling. All right, we're gonna show you guys positions on the spin bike and how to correctly do them and what your body positioning should be as you're doing it. So I've already gone through my setup. I'm all set up and ready to go on the bike. This is just your standard seating. So as I've talked about before, we always wanna have a little bit of tension on the bike, okay? A little bit of tension on the pedals. So this is just your standard cycle. Nice flat road. The next push we're gonna do is what's called the hover, okay? So how this works is, I'm just gonna put a little bit of tension on, just so it slows my legs down a little bit. And we're just gonna go into the hover, which is just, you can do it one of two ways. You can do it like this, okay? So you're still pedaling. Or some people like to actually lean on the bars. So there's two ways to do that. So there's this way, leaning on the bars, or standing up. Okay, you're just kind of doing, just like you're popping up on a hill. And then we're gonna sit back down. And the next one is the actual standing position. So again, you're gonna have a little bit of tension on there. We're just gonna stand up. So I like to have my hands on the back of the bars or up on the front here, okay? So wherever you feel comfortable. Now the key to these positions when you change positions is you gotta engage your core, okay? So core has to be engaged, especially when you go into that hover, engage that core, try not to have a lot of movement back and forth, keep that upper body still, okay? When you stand up, same thing. Little hand adjustment, standing up, perfect. Keep that core engaged, keep the shoulders nice and loose, no death grips. Hands are light, hands are loose, shoulders are loose. Another nice position to really work on those legs and keep the core engaged, put a little bit of tension on, sit back. Okay, so if your body is still, you're just using the legs. Now the key to the pedal stroke, especially if you're clipped in, if you got clips, this is key. So as you're riding, make sure you're using your glutes and your hamstrings to pull that pedal up. And then your quads to push it down. So glutes and hamstrings pull up, quads push down. Okay, so you're just keeping that steady flow. We don't wanna have a Click at the top, none of that. We want to keep that pedal stroke continuous, okay? Keep pushing those legs. So again, pull up, push down. Perfect. Now one of my favorite drills that I love to do, if you've done my spin classes, single leg, okay? So single leg. All we're gonna do is pull one leg off. It's hard to do without clips and a cage. So it's just, again, Pulling up, pulling down. So it's just a single leg. I don't have clips on, so it makes it so tough. So it's just a single leg. So it's just, again, one foot at a time. And you're just doing that continuous rotation on that drill. Hey, thanks for watching. If you love this video, make sure to check out the other videos in this playlist. And we'll answer every commonly asked question if you're totally new to spinning at home or indoor cycling. And if you love this video, make sure to subscribe down below and give it a big thumbs up. Thank you very much.